Now it's easy to make plutonium. Very, very easy. So does plutonium work the same way in that there's a less stable isotope that decays faster and you have to... No, it's made it in a totally different way. So there's okay. no natural plutonium. So uranium is the last natural heavy element. That's and stable. it's the last natural sure. one because from the creation of the solar system, like four or five billion years ago, there was some sort of kilonova, the collision of neutron stars, and a huge amount of isotopes, heavy isotopes, gold, lead, uranium, all these things were made in this kilonova. Interestingly enough, Kip Thorne helped us record the first kilonova ever because LIGO, his gravitational wave detector that he helped uh, make, could tell that there was a kilonova and could tell where in the sky it was and told all the world's telescopes to aim at that kilonova and watch it. And, and so every single telescope spectrum that we have on Earth, including the Hubble telescope and all that, all aimed at this kilonova. Uh, Do I still have time to rush over there and gather all the gold and uh, other valuable <laughs> heavy elements? No. <laughs> no. Damn. <laughs> it made a lot of gold though it's it supposedly made something like uh i saw like three earths worth of gold or something like that <laughs> Dang. like just in a, in a few seconds sell, sell, sell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway the that, market's flooding <laughs> in the kilonova that happened right before earth was made Absolutely a lot of plutonium and way heavier stuff was made. All of all of the heavy stuff was made. The difference, though, is that uranium is the only one that has long enough that is as lifetimes on the orders of billions of years. So that stuff's been mm. slowly decaying away, but we're still here to see it. Plut there's no long-lived plutonium one. The longest is uh, like 10 million years or something like that. I don't oh. know. It um, sounds like to create plutonium, we're going to have to use fusion. Is that right? No, 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 no. Uh, no. So the way you Wait. make it. The way you make it is that if you take uranium-238, which is normally useless for this sort of thing, it's not fissile, it's not, doesn't have any other nice properties. And if once you have a nuclear reaction going on, neutrons are flying everywhere. And if a neutron hits U-238, it fairly quickly turns into plutonium-239. That's called the breeder reaction. Um, so if you've ever heard of a breeder reactor, that's the reaction that happens. And this happens inside of all nuclear reactors. This is how mm -hmm. North Korea got its plutonium. They tricked uh, outside inspectors who were there to watch their, their reactor running, and they kicked them out for several months. Uh, this happened in the 90s. And then when they came back, they said, oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But what they had actually done is they had removed all the, the cores and they had processed all the plutonium out and they had reinstalled it and that the inspectors were not able to tell that they had done that until it was too late. So this is how you can get plutonium. Does the neutron become a proton? I mean, yes, it, it can turn into one. It can decay on its own. It definitely does. Um, Look, wait, is plutonium have a higher uh, element number than your Yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. By how mm -hmm. much? By one. By one. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, no, by two. Wait, yeah, sorry. it goes into Neptun by Neptunium. Two. Neptunium. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They're in the order of the planets. Yeah. Although, you know what? It's, I think it's weird that uh, plutonium never got kicked off the periodic table. Ooh. Yeah. That's kind of weird to me. Ooh. Somebody should just be like, plutonium's not an element. It's not yeah. an element. <laughs> Where's Neil deGrasse Tyson when we need him to uh, right. discredit? 